Hello friends, in this module we'll understand about the features, about the important key factors of the economy of Maharashtra. features of economy of Maharashtra. Before studying the economy of Maharashtra, we should actually know what are the features that are there in the economy. What are the existing position of the various factors in the economy of Maharashtra. Basically, when anything is considered, it is considered on the basis of people living in that area. Whenever I want to discuss about any area, being it good or bad, I actually claim it as a high or a low standard place on the basis of people living in that region. Over here, when I speak about Maharashtra particularly, Maharashtra has a population of 11.24 crores. 11.24 crores, that's huge. If I speak about some countries, it is the population of some countries. It is the second most populated state in our country. The population that is there in Maharashtra is huge and is engaged in various different sectors like agriculture, industries, service sectors and many others. The second feature of the economy of Maharashtra is that it is a huge state. In terms of area also, it is the third largest state. The area of the entire state of Maharashtra is 3.08 lakh square kilometers. So again, that is huge. It is a huge state. It has a lot of area. A lot of different occupations can be practiced in our state. Apart from that, the next factor to be considered is the urbanization. Urbanization is 45.2%. It is the most urbanized state of our country. It's a pride. What do you mean by urbanization? Urbanization, it's a ratio in which number of people, that is the total number of people to the number of people living in urban areas. Urban areas are classified as the areas which are very well developed, which have population of more than 5,000. All these areas are termed as urban areas. So what is urbanized area? It is an area, it is basically a ratio of urban population, that is the people living in urban areas to the total population. That means in Maharashtra, major population is living in urban areas. The next factor that we consider is the sex ratio. Sex ratio means the number of females every thousand males. In India, the number of females is considerably low. It is only in the state of Kerala that the number of females is more than the number of males. In Maharashtra, we can see the sex ratio is 929 females per thousand males which is considerably low and a lot of efforts are being taken by the state government to increase this number. The next factor that is there in the economy of Maharashtra is the literacy rate. The literacy rate of Maharashtra as per the census that was conducted in the year 2011 is 82.3%. Literacy rate Literacy rate is the number of population who knows how to read and write in any given language. Regional language, Hindi, Marathi, English or any regional language. In the total population, the census was conducted in the year 2011. Out of the total population, 82.3% of the population was literate, which is a high percent as compared to the other state. But government of Maharashtra is still trying to increase this percentage by starting a Sarva Siksha Abhiyan. So government is actually trying to increase this percentage. Kerala is one of the states with very high literacy rates. The next point of the economy of Maharashtra is it is highest gross state domestic product. It is nothing but the production that is made in the state. Out of all the states, the highest one is Maharashtra. Also, the per capita state income is highest in Maharashtra. It is according to the survey done in the year 2016 and 2017. Means it is contributing 
a lot of income also to the economy of India. It is the first in terms of production of services, goods in the entire country. That means industrial sector is very well developed in the state of Maharashtra. Apart from that, the next feature that we are discussing are the characteristics of the economy of Maharashtra. Economy of Maharashtra is dependent on a large scale on the resources available. So it has a lot of resources, a lot of natural resources. The land is fertile, a lot of minerals are available. We have western guards. So a lot of other factors are affecting our state. So now a lot of different characteristics can be seen in the state of Maharashtra. Apart from that, we have skilled manpower. There is a lot of manpower in our country. It is not necessary all the manpower that we have is skilled one. There might be unskilled manpower also who do not have a lot of technical knowledge about a lot of different factors. But in Maharashtra, we have skilled manpower. We can actually generate a lot of income if properly they are used. Apart from that, infrastructure is very well developed in the state of Maharashtra. If any industry needs to be developed, a new business wants to be set up, infrastructure becomes the key factor. Infrastructure is well developed. Also, government is trying to build new and better infrastructure. And the last one, it is very advanced in terms of technology. As we all already saw that it is the highest in terms of gross state domestic product. It is obviously using a lot of technology, but it is also having a lot of advanced technology as compared to the other states. And the last factor is that it has a favorable destination. Favorable destination for what? Maharashtra is a favorable destination for a lot of tourists as we have different places to visit in Maharashtra be it Gateway of India, be it Taj Mahal Hotel, be it Marine Drive or a lot of different places like Ajanta Elora Caves. People come to visit these places from a very long distance and also out of India. Apart from that, a lot of people come to Maharashtra or specifically Mumbai or other urbanized places in search of job. So a lot of migration also happens in the state of Maharashtra. A lot of people come to Maharashtra for skill development, for creativity and for other purposes. As we all already know that in the state of Maharashtra, we have a very high per capita income. The domestic product that is contributed by the economy of Maharashtra is also very high. So there are a lot of people who come to Maharashtra for investment because they know they will earn huge returns on investment. So in terms of economy of Maharashtra, it is on a great level. Further, it is developing at a higher speed. Thank you.